بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أكيدتك لا تنادي فهمه يا بني قومي يسودا أعيد للدنا أمجاد عصر وفل بالحديد لنا القيودا Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. I'm making this video because I've been recently following the activities of the Dutch uh, Netherland Parliament member Geert Welders, and I'm sure I'm butchering this guy's pronunciation of his name, but funny because I don't really seem to care about that at the moment. But anyway, this man is responsible for the movie entitled Fitna, which I'm sure many of you are aware of, and um, <clears throat> just familiar with this guy in general. Now, I didn't really have a problem with Mr. Will Wilder's and his movie Fitna because it was probably the most ridiculous movie created that critiqued any religion. I've seen a lot of movies that critique numerous different religions, and this is probably the most pathetic. Um, I encourage you all to go watch the movie since it will only take about, well, I don't know, how many minutes of your time. It's a very short film. And the nature of the film is quite simple. It just deals with five verses completely out of context from the Quran and um, tries to show how uh, apparently radical Muslims take these verses and use them to um, incite hatred, violence, and things of this nature. Now, the thing is, is that <clears throat> with studying someone like Wilders and his movie, you come to find out that he is actually one of the many roots of the um, the recent, uh, I would say, post 9/11 um, th uh, group, th the minority uh, as they are of peoples around the world that have a hatred uh, and contempt for the religion of Islam and Muslims in general. Um, you when you start hearing a lot of haters here on YouTube and, and elsewhere, you find that they're all clones of each other. They all uh, say the, they all use the same analogies, and you start to wonder where did this all start? And it really has to do with a number of these films. I've already dealt with the movie Obsession, uh, which uh, I refuted even the people who use the movie Obsession uh, by showing that the filmmakers themselves do not actually blame the religion of Islam, uh, but only the radicals within the religion, which I thought was kind of ironic. The people uh, herald this movie as being a major. Um, some people, excuse me, use this movie as a big uh, block in their equation uh, when they say that all of Islam and all Muslims are bad, etc., etc., etc. Now, Mr. Wilder is of, is of a different breed because he actually does believe that Islam is a evil concoction. Uh, even though his movie doesn't really address those points, um, he, however, is personally of, of this opinion. If you uh, watch the f uh, several recent clips... Um, uploaded by Care TV, uh, where Mr. Wilder has been doing a little tour in Florida, in the United States, where he has been allowed to speak at ultra conservative uh, groups, uh, two ultra conservative synagogues, uh, where he speaks nothing but hatred for the religion of Islam. He said some things that I was shocked that Americans in general would actually applaud. Uh, he said things such as that uh, Islam is not a religion, but that it's only a political ideology. He said that freedom of religion should not be extended to Islam and to Muslims. And then he also said things like, you know, this country in the West is based on Judeo-Christian values. What I find really disturbing is that each group that he was speaking to agreed with him. Now, I know these people are a minority, even within the, the country of the United States, but also he is himself a minority in his own country, having done some background checking on Mr. Wilder, come to find out that he is the right of the right. In other words, he is ultra-conservative. Even his uh, uh, similar counterparts, uh, people of the conservative branch of the Netherlands government, do not agree with him. He started his own party after he didn't find the party he originally belonged to to be as conservative and bigoted as his own. He started his own, and which consisted of one member himself. And it's grown in small popularity, but he is still such a fringe minority. He, the only reason why he is getting any sort of media coverage is because, well, he's a bigot, and he put 
money into making uh, a stupid movie. Having said that, what I, the reason why I have such animosity towards this man is because he is an affront to pretty much anything that a Western democracy actually stands for. Because he claims in several of his talks that he thinks this globalization business is a bunch of crock, and that this idea that all cultures are equal is a crock as well. He claims that the Western European culture is the most superior. And to me, I find that really close to fascism, which I find kind of ironic, because he views Islam as being fascist, yet he himself is speaking in very fascist terms when he starts saying that the white European culture is superior than the rest of the world. To me, that only marginalizes uh, a huge percentage of the world's population, but it runs counter to the dream that the founding fathers of the United States and other thinkers of the, of the Enlightenment era had. I find it really disgusting and disturbing that conservatives like Mr. Wilder invoke people like the Founding Fathers and other Enlightenment thinkers when we all damn well know that if Thomas Jefferson was alive today, he would spit in the face of people like Wilder. Because as much as the conservatives want to invoke these people's names, these people were agnostic and atheist and liberal Christians to boot. So, and they had a dream in, in, in unifying all men uh, being created equal, and that all religions were equal, hence freedom of religion and acceptance and tolerance. For crying out loud, John Adams signed a treaty with Muslims during his presidency and, fa and found no fault with them. So, having said that, and I'm going to post several links in the description section. I'm going to post a Wikipedia article on Mr. Wilder himself so you can see his background. I'm going to post um, a video that's through Google Video that is a full refutation of his movie Fitna. Also an article that refutes his movie Fitna as well. Um, I, I essentially just find it really interesting that since Mr. Wilder's claimed so many things about Islam, I highly doubt that this man has done any real research at all. Uh, his politics stems from his international travels abroad and his uh, utter hatred for the fact that Muslims are immigrating into the Netherlands. In fact, he wants to pay Muslims to leave the Netherlands. But I don't think, and he has not shown as of yet, any sort of real knowledge about Islam or the religion. He's a politician. He's not a theologian. And so therefore, his limitation to his own uh, intellect when it comes to the subject matter is rather abysmal. Uh, and therefore, I would venture that this man has done really hardly any uh, um, study of Islam at all, and I base this completely on my hypothesis that he has not shown to hardly know anything about Islam in general. So therefore, I'm making this video not only to expose him for being a bigot, I'm also going to make this video because I would like to issue a challenge to Mr. Wilder. I know I'm a really a nobody compared to him, I'm a dude on YouTube, but I challenge Mr. Wilder to a debate on any topic regarding Islam. I'm sure he'll probably, you know, let's talk about Islam or terrorism or does the Quran preach overall violence or what have you. I would like to issue uh, a challenge to debate and to see if Mr. Wilder can actually stand up against uh, a Muslim who has been studying comparative religion for some time, and instead of just going around and talking to people who are of a liked mind audience as himself. So yes, I would like to issue this challenge. And just FYI, I know that many haters listen to my videos, and no, this is not an open-ended challenge to anyone, so don't come to my channel or saying, well, I'll take you up on that challenge, because this is, this, you know, let's, let's be fair here, this is a challenge to Mr. Wilder. This is a challenge specifically for him to see if he will accept it. And to be also fair, even if he thinks that I'm a nobody, granted he's a Dutch Parliament member and I'm really just, you know, a schmuck compared to him in the eyes of a, if we were going to do a hierarchy, if he feels more comfortable debating someone with a little bit more prestige than himself, then perhaps an equal politician that who is a Muslim, perhaps, who knows his, his stuff, knows his religion. Maybe he would be comfortable debating... The, a gentleman or a lady uh, of his own hierarchical ca caliber, as it were. So thank you everyone for listening to this. Uh, please enjoy the uh, links to the side of the video. Hope you're all doing well. Peace be with you all.